today's video I have done a tutorial on a classic smoky eye. So it is a full face tutorial but a lot of it is focused on how to achieve the perfect classic smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoy it. I had a lot of people requesting a tutorial on a smoky eye so here it is. Now the first thing that I'm actually going to do is grab some scotch tape and I'm going to use this to create a sharp line on kind of like the wing of the shadow. So it's really easy with a smoky eye to actually look like you've got like a bruised eye or something like that and I find that if you use tape on the outer corner area it stops that from happening. So first up I am going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to prime my eyes and this is in the shade NC20. Not that it really matters but I'm just going to use this to conceal any redness or veins on my eyelids. Next up I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream and I'm just going to use this to set that concealer down in place. Next up I'm taking the Maybelline Big Eyes Eyeliner and I'm going to use the black side and I'm going to line this really tightly along my lash line. This doesn't have to be neat or anything like that because we're just going to go in and smudge it later but you just want to keep it as tightly close to the lash line as possible. And now going in with my Sigma Short Shader E20 brush I'm just going to smudge that product out. There's no product on this brush at all, I'm literally just using it to smudge out this eyeliner. So next up I'm taking the color Mocha on my Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush and I'm just going to blend that color through the crease and this is going to be the color that gives this smoky eye that real smoky sultry look. I'm then going in with a clean Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges of Mocha. Next up I'm taking Makeup Geek Corrupt Eyeshadow on the Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Eye Shader Brush. And I'm going to pack this onto my eyelid but I'm going to keep it quite low so that I'm not pushing it up into the crease too much. We want the crease color to mainly just be Mocha. And as you can see I'm not really swiping my brush, I'm kind of just patting it on. That gives you a lot more control on where you're putting the product as well. I'm then going back in with my Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush. No extra product on that brush but I'm just going to blend Mocha and Corrupt together in the crease. Now taking my Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Mocha and I'm going to place this in my crease again just to blend those two colors together a little bit better. Then taking my clean Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush, I'm just going to use that to blend out the edges. There's no product on this brush at all. I'm literally just blending out the edges to make sure that it's nice and smoky. So as you can probably see, I'm just slowly adding more of mocha and then blending, more mocha blending until I'm kind of happy with how it looks. This is just a chance for you to kind of play around with it until you're happy with how smoky it is. It's completely up to you how smoky you want to go, but um, I kind of, I think that it's better to go in small steps so that you don't overdo it. So that's basically what I've just been doing is just slowly going in and adding more mocha. I'm now just picking up a little bit of Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee on my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. And I'm just going to use this to blend out the edges a little bit more. And then again, just going back in with my Sigma Taper Blending E35 brush. This is clean and I'm just going to blend out the edges. You'll find that throughout the whole blending process, some of the black on the eyelid is going to disappear. So I'm just going to go back in with Corrupt and just pack a little bit more of that onto the eyelid. Next up, I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer on my Zoeva 226 Smudger brush. And I'm just going to pack that color onto my inner corner and I'm just going to blend those colors in a little bit better so that it's not so like bam difference you know what I mean so first up I'm going in with my Gerard Cosmetics BB plus illumination cream so I'm just going to pump some of that onto my clean hands and then I'm just going to rub that into my skin for foundation today I'm actually going to use two different foundations I'm going to use my makeup forever ultra HD mixed in with a little bit of my L'Oreal infallible 24 hour foundation I do have a little bit of a tan on at the moment so this is like a little bit too dark and this is like a little bit too light so I'm going to mix the two together and hopefully get the right color from it and I'm just going to blend that in using my damp beauty blender 
I do want a high coverage foundation today just because the eyes are so dramatic and dark. I want a really flawless base so that it doesn't look strange. And to conceal and highlight under my eyes, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. So I'm just going to use my Sigma Concealer F75 brush to place that under my eyes. I'm just going to start pressing that in with my finger and then go in with my Beauty Blender towards the end and blend it in a little bit more. I'm also going to place a little bit of that concealer in the center of my forehead as well, just to highlight that area. And then down the center of my nose, Cupid's bow, and my chin as well. And then I'm just going to blend that all in with my Beauty Blender. Next up, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. And I'm actually going to use this to bake. I got this trick off of Shani Grimman's latest video, which is like 17 beauty hacks. And it made so much sense when she said it. Basically, Rimmel Stay Matte is a pressed powder, but if you crush it up, it becomes a loose powder, which you can easily bake with. And I always use this under my eyes anyway, so I figure why not try and use it to bake. So I have crushed a little bit up in the pan here, and I'm just taking a makeup sponge, and I'm just going to use this to bake under my eyes. I will leave a link down below to Shani's video because she had some really, really cool other hacks in there that I've never seen before. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys check that out because I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, so while I bake away, I'm going to do my brows. I'm using the Sigma Brow Powder in the shade Medium. And I am basically just going to fill in my brows like I always do. Okay, so now I'm going to brush away the translucent powder under my eyes. I'm just using my Sigma Spotlight Duster F37 brush to do this. It's a clean brush, so there's nothing on it. To set the rest of my face in place, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NW25. And I'm using my Sigma Large Powder F20 brush. So next I'm just going to finish up my eyes. First up I'm taking Makeup Geek Corrupt on my Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. And I'm just going to place that really tightly along my lower lash line. I'm now going in with the color Mocha, which is the color that we used in our crease. And I'm using that on a pencil brush. And I'm just going to use that to blend out the black on the lower lash line. And to take things one step further and make it even more smoky, I'm going to take some of Creme Brulee on my Small Tapered Blending E45 brush. And again, just blend that into the lower lash line. Now taking the black eyeliner again, I'm just going to place this in my lower waterline. Next up, I'm just going to coat my lashes in the Pony Cosmetics White Night Mascara and I'm going to use this on the top and bottom. And for lashes today, I'm going to be using these Zala Lash Romance False Lashes. I'm not too sure what the style name is or anything like that, sorry, but I will leave a link down below to their website where you can grab a pair of your own. I'm just going to line my upper waterline now with the same black eyeliner. And for my brow highlight today, I'm going to use White Lies by Makeup Geek. For my contour today, I'm just going to use Hoola by Benefit Cosmetics on my Sigma Small Contour F05 brush. And to bronze up my skin a little bit more, I'm just going in with the Models Prefer Mineral Powder in the color Glow 2. And I'm using that on my Sigma Tapered Face F25 brush. For blush today, I'm just going to use this Essence Blush in the color Pinky Flow on my Sigma Powder Slash Blush F10 brush. And for highlighter today, I'm using my MAC Soft and Gentle. And for lips today, I'm using a Nude. And the color that I'm going to use is Truffle by Dose of Colors. completed look. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this look is very much like a clubbing look. It's a very classic smoky eye and the best thing about it is that you can pretty much wear any lip color with it or you can even change the transition color. So if you wanted to add a little bit of color into the smoky eye but still keep the majority of it black, you could add like a pink or a purple in the transition just to add a pop of color but not too crazy. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.